Welcome to our second video covering our new Twitch integration. In this video we'll be concentrating on the website integration, namely the showcase module and the stream side list module. Both modules provide some awesome ways to showcase your Twitch streamers across your engine website. The Twitch showcase module is the more showy of the two, allowing you to display your Twitch data in a vast array of different video patterns. Basic stream information is shown on the front end, and clicking a stream will automatically place you into theatre mode. From this new pop-up you can watch, follow and interact with the stream directly. The stream side list module is the more compact of the two, offering flexible group management options for your custom stream lists. Basic stream information can be found on the front end, with streams being sorted into groups which can be hidden and shown. Ok, first up, let's check out the stream side list module. From the module backend we can see quite a number of options. Let's first have a look at the stream type option, which essentially allows you to select how to feature stream data. We'll first have a look at the specific game option. This option allows you to display streamers playing a particular game. You can add a game to the list by clicking the add game option. Clicking the refresh games button speeds up the sync, providing us with basic game, stream and viewer data. If we head back up to the stream type drop down let's check out the custom streams option. This option allows you to add individual Twitch streams using their Twitch handle. You can sort these streams automatically into your pre-created groups or you can create new groups using our channel manager feature. The changes you make to these groups will affect how the module displays on the front end. You can start the groups collapsed, edit the group name and move streams in between the groups. Heading back up to the stream type drop down we have two more options. We have a featured on Twitch TV option which will automatically feed data from Twitch's featured streams list. Or you can choose to feed your stream data directly from your showcase module. We'll cover this module next. Both our stream list and showcase module have a range of different display modes. Switching between these options in the drop down will give you a little preview of how they may appear on the front end. As well as this we have options allowing you to select the type of stream data to show on top of options to hide Twitch avatars and hide offline streams. Ok, next up, the fancier of the two modules, the Showcase module. The two modules share very similar options, and just like the Stream List module we can set the stream type to custom stream specific games or featured on Twitch TV data feeds. Using the custom streams option you can add individual Twitch streams using the Twitch TV handle. Unlike the Stream List module however, there's no grouping functionality present, this is due to the way the module operates and displays streams. Although our showcase module does offer a far greater variety of display modes. Flicking through the different display modes should give you a preview to the right, and our large variety should offer you a display mode which fits your website structure. We also have options to show the initial number of streams displayed, to hide offline streamers, and to sort the stream order by a specific data type. Last but not least, if we head over to settings and then click the Twitch section, we can enable and configure Twitch TV support and updates to start appearing in the bottom right hand corner notification tray. Once enabled you can select whether to feed data from your website users added Twitch streams on their profiles or directly via your Twitch modules. Once this feature is enabled all your website users will start seeing a little Twitch TV icon in the bottom right hand corner. They'll start receiving update notifications based on your selected Twitch data feed source. And that more or less covers the basics of our Twitch website integration. Our Twitch website integration works best when coupled with our profile integration, so make sure to check out our other video contained in the video description on Twitch profile setup. If you have any questions on all this, as always, please leave a comment or submit a support form, all links included in the video description.